10 strangest weather events in U.S. history. <laughs> 10 strangest <laughs> weather events. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you do it. What's up, NZers? Hi. Hi. And welcome back to another family reaction video. This time, we're going to be checking out something that is very new in terms of what we've reacted to before. Mm -hmm. But I think it kind of almost fits hand in hand with uh, the most dangerous animals in America. Yeah. So it's just, it's such a stark contrast to what we're used to down here. Yeah. And also I'd say weather wise, it's pretty mild down here too. Very mild. Compared to like what some of you guys can experience yeah. in, the re in the rest of the world. So this one is 10 strangest weather events in US history. All right, so let's check it out. From sudden bouts of darkness to tornadoes filled with flames and creatures falling from the sky. What? Today we look at the strangest weather events in US history. What? Wow, okay. Creatures falling from the sky. <laughs> it's raining cats and dogs. Day, throughout I'll have a, I'll have a dog. the Midwest United States experienced some extremely chilly temperatures, with places like Detroit experiencing minus 14 degree weather, Milwaukee dropping to 21 below zero, and Chicago somehow surviving negative 23 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, In wow. comparison to the history wow. of the U.S., though, these temperatures are far from <laughs> the worst experienced by Americans. The coldest day ever recorded on U.S. soil was January 23rd, 1971, when the people of Prospect Creek, Alaska, oh, endured Alaska, a terrifying temperature of minus 80 degrees. Oh. When it comes to the lower 48 states, the coldest day came on January 20th, 1954, when Rogers Pass, Montana, dropped to seven. 70 degrees below zero. Fire. Number nine, locust plague. Being a Midwest farmer in the late 19th century had its fair share of obstacles. No modern machinery to work with, fickle soil and weather conditions, and most likely way more physical labor than most people could handle on a daily basis. So imagine how much worse it got for American farmers in 1874 when a swarm of locusts blanketed the sky before diving down on their crops. These oh. insects rained down on the Midwest in droves, with historians estimating their number to be anywhere between 124 billion to 12.5 trillion. As they cut a path nearly 1,800 wow. miles long scary. and 110 miles wide, these pesky bugs what? devoured Whoa. everything from sugar-concentrated crops to wooden tools, leather accessories, and even clothes right off the backs of bystanders. Their to invasion ended up causing many families to suffer and even perish as starvation became a hazard to those in the area that would become the Dust Bowl. While farm animals like chickens okay. did their part in eliminating the pest by simply eating them, the danger of locust invasion didn't pass until the Rocky Mountain grasshopper went extinct at the turn of the century. Number eight, Black Sunday. Speaking of the Dust Bowl, the dust-swept and drought-ridden region of the Midwest began its desolate transformation one fateful day, now referred to as Black Sunday. On April 14, 1935, a storm fell on the prairies of the Midwest, beginning in Oklahoma and Texas. Starting at 4 p.m., winds clocking in at 60 miles per hour swept along the plains, Whoa. forming a black cloudy wall as they hurtled on. This effect came from loose dirt in the arid region, twisting and obstructing the vision of those who witnessed the storm. Reports Sheesh. at the time believed the anomaly to signal the end of days, as the blinding dust storm Whoa. kept those outside from being able to see their hand in front of their face. The weather event blinded one man and had fatal consequences for small animals like birds and rodents as it rose thousands of feet into the air Whoa. and stretched for hundreds of miles. Looked like a tsunami. The phenomenon yeah. went on to inspire Congress to pass the Soil Conservation Act by the end of the year in hopes of avoiding such an occurrence from happening again. Number seven, Satan's storm. On June 15, 1960, Doesn't the residents good. of Copperell, Texas began their morning as normal with a typical early temperature of just around 70 degrees Fahrenheit. But in mere minutes, the warm desert air rose to an unbearable 100 degrees Fahrenheit out of nowhere. The sudden skyrocket in heat caused thermometers to burst, according to anecdotal Whoa. accounts. People experienced power failures and false alarms as they awoke thinking something must be on fire. The National Weather Service unofficially reports that the temperature continued rising until it topped out at 140 degrees Fahrenheit oh. and remained there for three hours straight. Eventually, the heat subsided, leaving farmers to investigate the level of damage wrought by the sudden heat wave. In its wake, people found that some cattle perished under the infernal sun, while corn and cotton cooked off the crop, ruining entire fields of vegetation. Oh this goodness. event earned the name of Satan's storm during its time. But today, we know the extreme switch in temperature to be a heat burst. These are caused from a thunderstorm rising and being pushed back down to the surface, leading the air below to become <laughs> compressed and extremely hot. Number six, wow. tornado tantrums. 
Tornadoes plague the Midwest almost annually. Tornadoes. Many times man. more than one can touch yeah. down in a given place. But on April 3rd and April 4th in 1974, a flood of tornadoes spread across multiple states in the Ohio Valley, causing over a billion dollars adjusted for inflation yeah. in damage and claiming the lives of 335 people wow. in the process. An astounding 148 twisters oh. tore into the U.S., with some reaching a circumference Whoa. of five miles wide. Then again in 2011, that from April so 25 scary. to April 28, another flurry of tornadoes ravaged oh, wow. America, hitting as far north as Pennsylvania and New York, and reaching down so to the deep south. As warm air at the ground level collided with the colder airs above, and atmospheric wind shears moved in, these catastrophic oh disasters left huh? their mark on populated areas repeatedly throughout the three-day span. This time, 349 Whoa. twisters took the lives of over 300 people and caused $10.8 billion in damage. Number five, dark day. In the 18th century, meteorology wasn't anywhere near as exact or capable of explaining weather-related phenomena the way it is today. So it's no wonder that accounts of the day when the sky went dark on May 19, 1780 are so superstitious and foreboding. Following right on the tail end of the American Revolution, the newly founded nation was already tense. So when the sun turned red, black rain fell from the sky carrying the scent of coal fire, and the population had to rely on candlelight in the middle of the day to see, you can Whoa. understand how frightened Americans might have felt. Oh. Rather than any sort of Armageddon or Judgment Day, black. this scary ordeal right. can be attributed to a forest fire in the Ontario forest. Uh. The origin of the legendary Dark Day in New England wasn't discovered until 2007 when forestry experts out of the University of Missouri discovered fire scars in the woods of Ontario corresponding to that date. Mm -hmm. Number four, raining wow. fish. We've all heard the saying, it's raining cats and dogs, but in 1947, the age old phrase became reality with a bit of an aquatic twist. As the population of Marksville, Louisiana left their homes on October 23rd that year, no forecast could have prepared them for the downpour that was to come. According to the Library of Congress, inhabitants of the southern town experienced a torrential shower that brought not only raindrops, but several fish as well. These accounts weren't the hoax they might seem to be, as the meteorological phenomenon known as raining animals has occurred many times across the planet and throughout history. Flightless creatures like spiders, frogs, octopus, and even jellyfish have been reported from China to Honduras over the last two centuries. While the wow. cause of such an event has Imagine never been witnessed, the prevailing yeah. theory octopus. as to what causes <laughs> such groups of animals to be displaced attribute the <clears throat> phenomena to water spouts and updrafts. Water spouts are the weaker of the two hypothesized sources, as the water-based tornadoes capable of flinging objects uh, along the water at close. high speeds fail to suck up anything in their path. Updrafts, on the other hand, are strong winds that could more feasibly sweep up entire communities of animals before sending them plummeting to the earth below. Mm. The last accounts of raining animals in the U.S. took place in 2007 as worms rained onto Jennings, Louisiana, and in September 2016, what? and again in May of 2017, when fish drizzled down into Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, wow. and Oroville, California, respectively. Number three, soil cyclones. Tropical yeah. cyclones form on the coast of the United States with semi-regularity, fueled by the heat energy they gather from the warmth of the ocean. Got As seven. they move inward towards land and leave the ocean energy behind, they typically dissipate and the thunderstorm that trails them overhead will disperse and fizzle away. But recently, studies have shown that not all cyclones fall apart so quickly, a point proven in 2007 with Tropical Storm Erin. As the cyclone entered Texas that August, it infiltrated the Lone Star State with wind speeds measuring a measly 40 miles per hour. However, within three days, the tropical storm continued to flourish, growing surprisingly strong by the time it reached Oklahoma. In Whoa. fact, it more than doubled in wind speed from the time it touched wow. land and even wow. eclipsed the strength of the cyclone at its peak while over the Gulf of Mexico. But it usually, how could it usually such does an anomaly be possible if no water warmth was present to keep the cyclone swirling? Moist soil, as new discoveries have shown, can substitute for ocean water if breached at the right temperature and hydration levels. Referred to as the brown ocean effect, this abnormality gave tropical storm Aaron a longer life than meteorologists could have ever predicted at the time. Number two fire tornado. During the car fire event of 2018, one of the most terrifying weather anomalies of U.S. history occurred when the largest fire tornado ever recorded took shape. Wildfires are fire also tornado. common in the Golden State, but this specific fire was so massive, the resulting gases formed a pyrocumulus cloud above the raging inferno. 
This firecrafted thunderstorm helped turn a commonly known fire whirl, which were thought to hit a maximum speed of 90 miles per hour, into a monstrous cyclone of cinder and ash. As the flames blazed on, winds within the tornado reached a speed of 143 miles per hour rewriting the capabilities and hazards of such natural disasters. Mm. This incident was Eesh. one of only two F3 tornadoes ever recorded in California, the, guy up the, top, the other yeah. two spotting wow. from a fiery event in 1926. Mm -hmm. Due to the size and severity of this one, and the fact that it claimed one casualty, this fire tornado is one of the most monumental weather events of all time. Number 1. Summerless Year Also known as the Poverty Year, 1816 was the year without a summer when temperatures all across the northern hemisphere remained frigid year-round, even wow. through July and August. New England reported record late snowfalls experiencing heavy weather as late as June 11th. In the south, cities like Savannah, Georgia only reached 46 degrees Fahrenheit on the 4th of July. Much wow. of the U.S. experienced a drought that same year in early fall, and winter weather started right back up by September. This freezing year was the result of an eruption in 1815 from Indonesia's Tambora volcano halfway around the world. Uh -huh. The ash and dust of the eruption filled the stratosphere for the next year, blocking wow. sunlight across the northern hemisphere, which ended up cooling that portion of the planet. Wow. wow. Yeah, that was, that's really interesting. Whoa. Like, mind-blowing. Yeah. But I find it interesting, because I was going to say that in New Zealand, it's not so much the weather that we have to deal with as the natural disasters. Yeah. But in some cases in this one, it was like the natural disasters caused a major weather event. The weather, yeah. So yeah, even though they're two quite separate things. Yeah. So, I mean, our weather here is very mild. I mean, you occasionally get like a cyclone, but it's not usually it's usually died down because our waters yeah. are quite cold. Yeah. Whereas like, you know, a lot of the big cyclones that happen like in the, um, you know, the islands, the Pacific Islands, like Vanuatu yeah. and all that sort of stuff. They get hammered. Yeah, Fiji. Yeah. Fiji always gets destroyed. And um, but and maybe like, yeah, flash flooding here and there, uh, you know, some rainstorms. And volcanoes. That's natural disasters. Yeah, but that's about the extent that we get. Earthquakes, volcanoes. Yeah. And some flooding. Earthquake. Yeah, because we're literally right on the ring of fire. Yeah, so yeah. we've never really had, hur we've never had a hurricane. No, or uh, We've had tornadoes, but they're very small. Really, really tiny ones that just damage the roof of like one house. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed that one, make sure you smash the like button and also share the video far and wide. It really helps the channel out. Yeah. And also let us know down in the comments, what have you experienced anything like this before? What's the craziest uh, weather event that you have been a part of? Yeah. And uh, yeah, also check us out on Instagram. Atlanta's over there with Atlanta's Kitchen. Yeah. She's got some new episodes coming up. And also... Subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you hit the post notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. And we love you guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.